Kristen Bales called me about four years ago and said they want to honor me as the Urban Pioneer of the Year Award for the Plaza District. So I came over here and started looking around and started thinking about what was occurring here and realized that our neighborhoods were growing in importance, particularly the meeting areas of our neighborhoods, the retail areas, the restaurants, and decided this was, it was already up and coming, but it would just keep growing and developing. Well, about four years ago, half the restaurants that are here today were here. Half of the retailers were here. And some of the tenants had, weren't really part of the evolving culture of the neighborhood which led to the acquisition of Trans Laundry, which became Empire, and led to the acquisition of Dye's Mattress Store, which became Pie Junkies and DNA, with some other partners here. Empire Slice House opened September 6th of last year. It was a year and a half long idea that finally culminated with uh, a contest that was offered by the Plaza District on popularize.com in which we presented a business plan and ended up with the space. Steve's been an amazing landlord. Uh, he was a little intimidating in the beginning, but we found our way <laughs> as of now. Um, you know, he was responsible for a lot of amazing additions and renovations here that for new business owners are not possible as far as the expense of those kinds of things to accomplish something that turned out as well as this did. We couldn't have done it before. Whenever we created this idea, we wanted to fill a niche. Uh, we wanted to be able to attract all kinds of people, and I really think we've accomplished that, not only because of the district that we're in, attracts all kinds of people, but also our pricing really allows for all walks of life to be able to come in here and have just one slice for $350 or you know, feed their entire family for under $25 is a pretty novel idea. It's been really, uh, we've been really pleased with the response from everyone so far. I'm very good at redeveloping things, and I'm very good at budgets and accomplishing goals. My weakness is negotiation and purchases. Um, it requires patience, um, dealing with people and listening to them and chatting a lot. I'm not a big chatter. And um, Amy Apatone and Kristen Vales and Amanda Bradway and Lindsay Zadro know these people and they get along with these people and they can understand their needs. And you know, the purchases of the dye mattress building and the Tran Laundry and the Shattered Shopping Center, they were slow processes. The Dye's mattress building was filled to the brim with used mattresses. You couldn't see in there, it was just pretty much filled with junk and they were still operating business. Um, but there would be used mattresses out on the sidewalks and it was just really an eyesore for the district and the laundromat was still operating but it was not in good shape the owner of that laundromat was tired of running that business he was going to college and and trying to go to college and run this business too and so it was good timing for him you know to get out of that business and so yeah the shopping center has been owned by Charlie Shadded for years and years i'm not sure how long but there's been not a lot of investment from that property owner. It's been these tenants that have really developed these properties on their own and invested in a lot of this on their own. So they've made a lot of progress that way. I'm really excited um, about the opportunities for our retailers in this, this particular center to grow as businesses. Um, there's there's some excitement. I think that it's changed for the district, but I think it's going to be good and it'll present some challenges, but things that these businesses will be able to work through and ultimately have better businesses because of it. It's 20, 27,000 square feet in the Plaza Shopping Center. I was attracted to it because as you look at the um, integrity and growth and development of this district, this was the biggest chunk that needed some tender loving care. Well, always before I've done infill into empty buildings, and that's relatively easy. What I have now are existing very good tenants that are important to the mission of this district. And so what my challenge is, is to help them grow, help them grow their sales. I think I can help them grow some, their sales by 20% is my goal in the next year with some help and some input from people. And also I have some deferred maintenance to take care of. 
I think when you invest, there's two ways to invest. One is obviously return on your money, and that's very important. But I think as, as a person grows and matures, it's great if you can also involve into what is social investing. And part of your return is helping make the community better. And this project, a lot of it is helping making this community better because the retailers that are here and the restaurants in this strip shopping center are already strong. But I believe I can make them stronger in their sales and give them a better home to live in.